Eight million people a year are diagnosed and pass away from cancer. Four million of those deaths are preventable. It literally is a disease that affects every single person on the planet. So cancer is hard to solve because of the complexity. You'll see patients that are riddled with metastatic cancer all across their body and they'll have some cancer immunotherapy and the cancer disappears. It is a beautiful thing. People who couldn't walk before get up and walk away. But then three months later, everything comes back and it comes back much more aggressive and uh, sadly we, we often lose these patients. We don't know why that is. We don't know where those cells are. For every discovery that we have, it turns out there's two or three more doors that become unlocked and add layers of complexity. The day I was born, my mom had cancer and it stayed sort of dormant in her body until I was 11. And that's when my life changed. I, I practically had um, a nervous breakdown. Sorry. And so she went through that treatment and she, you know, she had surgery and chemo and all those things. And, and I just remember just being panicked and I didn't want to leave the house and I didn't want to go to school and I didn't want to go hang out with my friends because I literally would just want to sit and look at my mother, you know, who maybe had just had treatment and watching her just deal with that and just making sure like if I just keep my eyes on her, she'll live, she'll be okay. And getting through that. And then she gets diagnosed again, but it's a different cancer. And then getting back on that cycle, and then she goes into remission, and then she gets diagnosed again. What I think there's hope is that there is a little bit of a democratization of exploring biological sciences. You're going to have ideas and designs and solutions that no one could have ever imagined, because they are not going to be affected by current paradigms. CRISPR, uh, when I started my research, no idea what CRISPR was, and now it's about to change the world. I mean, you could potentially introduce something that could change the, the sort of genome in a tumor and cause it to shrink up and die. I mean, that's sort of a bold uh, prediction, but uh, it's possible. I mean, think about cancer prevention. Imagine if you could somehow get patients to uh, increase their screening, just the, the you know yearly screening. You can dare people to be creative. They can build upon existing technologies. It's a wide space, there's a lot to play, but it's also something that needs a change, it needs a catalyst. And I think that XPRIZE can serve as that catalyst. It's a different life when you know that you have the possibility, a strong possibility of getting cancer and what that means and how you approach life. And it changes your decisions. I had to explain this to my daughter when she was maybe 12. I would love to not have to have this conversation again.